Hello, my name is Sherry Polly, and I am the author of the Dissociative Living blog for HealthyPlace.com. This week I had a unique experience, um, and I learned a little bit about panic attacks and dissociation. I was in my therapist's office, and we were talking about some things that were particularly triggering to me. I wasn't ready to face these things in my life, and so I went into a panic attack. And I started gasping for breath, and the room started feeling like it was shrinking, and um, I felt like my heart was racing. But in response to that, something else happened. I slipped into a dissociative state, and I think that that happened to protect me from the panic attack. Now, I haven't dissociated in about two and a half years because I was on a medication, but I went off of this medication about three months ago, and apparently my dissociative symptoms are coming back. Now, this is okay for me at this point in time because I'm familiar with dissociation and I know how to handle it. I was able to tell my therapist that I was dissociating. Um, I recognized it and was able to not be afraid of it. I recognized what was happening, so I calmed myself and I grounded myself and I came back out of the dissociation. But what happened was I went right back into the panic attack, and then I dissociated again, and then I came back into the panic attack again. And this time, I coped with the panic attack by slowing my breathing and by um, just getting my mind off of the topic that we had been talking about, the thing that triggered the panic attack in the first place. And so I was able to calm down, and then I described to my therapist exactly what had just happened because she wasn't really sure what had happened. Um, and it seems that I was using the dissociation as a way to escape the panic attack. And this is something that can happen. Um, but fortunately, I recognize that uh, dissociation is not dangerous. And neither are panic attacks. And because I know this, it helps me to hold on and to just stay grounded and to stay um, somewhat calm during these events. Um, I don't get scared of them. And that's a good thing. So if you happen to dissociate, you want to be aware that it's not dangerous. It's, um, it may feel scary, but it's not really scary. There's nothing to be afraid of. So that will help you ground, and that will help you get through it more safely and more comfortably. So I hope that you can um, keep that in mind if you have dissociative or panic attack symptoms. And um, I just wish you well, and thanks for reading my blog. Have a good day.